let's talk about value because most people get this part totally wrong. We tend to think something is valuable because it's made out of expensive material or took a lot of time to produce, but that's not really the case. Look at designer bags. Recently, there's been a scandal where a bunch of luxury brands has been exposed. Turns out that $5,000 bags were being produced in the same factories as $50 bags. Same material, same people stitching, but a totally different price point because of the logo. It's obviously not the quality, but it's the perceived value of a good. It's about the scarcity, the brand, the cultural weight that this specific thing has, and what we all collectively agree on as its value. Same thing with gold. When we first discovered gold and started digging gold and using it as an exchange of value, it wasn't just because it was shiny, but because it was so scarce and the process in retrieving gold is so hard. People would die in mines to get gold. Gold is scarce, durable, and then became divisible through currency and has been trusted by so many people and cultures throughout the years. This is where Bitcoin flips the script. It is the first time we've ever been able to create a digital form of scarcity with only 21 million. Not only is it scarce, but it is very, very secure, backed by immense amount of energy through the proof of work protocol and its mining processes. Coming from a tech background, this is how I see Bitcoin. It uses energy and turn it into digital scarcity. It's impossible to counterfeit and it's completely decentralized, meaning that there's no one main power that controls it. Bitcoin is valuable for the same reasons gold is valuable, but even more protected and more secure in a digital age.